Good morning everyone. So it is a lovely super sunny day today. I'm out here with the chickens. They're all hiding in the shade, keeping nice and cool. And there's a few of them over there. And today I wanted to send a really special message to Ivy to say happy sixth birthday. Ivy is turning six and you wouldn't believe it. She is going to steal my job because Ivy has sent me the most amazing video of her teaching. And in it, she's taught me all about the cat eyed cardinal fish and the sea slug. So I thought I'd show it to you now so you can learn a few things with Ivy. Uh, well, so welcome to um, Learn Under Sea. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Today, today what I will be telling, today what I will be telling you about is this and um, other creatures that were discovered, that were discovered in 2019. You might have heard about these, but I'm, I don't think you will, of the, the cat eye card I fish. There's a picture of it in the middle, if you were looking at that. The cat-eyed cardo fish. So, hope you enjoy the session. So, we'll be learning about the cat-eyed cardo fish. Um, uh, we'll be learning about the cat-eyed cardo fish and the sea slug. Some of you might not enjoy listening to that word because slugs can be a bit disgusting. So, so the cat eyed cardo fish is there and the sea slug is here. I'm telling you about today. Um a few days the other day I made this project. Um and so this one is a little starfish. It twirls and it goes forward. And this one is um, the word with the sparkly lead is a baby jellyfish. Obviously this mummy's baby one. And this one is a seahorse. Obviously a lady one because of those bits here. Um, also, I'm telling you about these particular animals. The Catacardo fish has particularly got um, a got some rainbow spots on it, black outline with an um, eyes and a mouth, and why it's called a cat eyed cardo fish is because it's got cat eyes and the sea slug um uh, normally lives at the bottom of the water has red spikes um a pale body um and bye for now i'll be out downloading some more videos bye wasn't that amazing? Well done Ivy, I absolutely loved it. And you were right, I had never heard of a cat-eyed cardinal fish, but it's probably because they were only discovered last year. I think the chickens enjoyed it too, because a few of them have come out to have a better look. Although they probably thought they could eat the sea slug, so perhaps that's why they've come out. I also absolutely loved the puppet show you made. A lot of you in oak class and other class have been making these really cool underwater puppet shows. <laughs> and apparently she wants to make one too. Do you want to make a puppet show? And the thing I... <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> the thing I like <laughs> <Do> you... 
<laughs> and the thing I like about all these puppet shows that I'm seeing is that you've all done them differently and I loved the fact that yours Ivy was done on it looked like to me little pieces of pipe cleaner and so they kind of moved in different ways now while I'm here shall I show you this is my favorite chicken Fraggle running away Fraggle has a really cool hairstyle and I'll also show you the chicks because this is where the chicks have come to live so you can see this is the big house for all the hens which are hiding behind that bush but this is where the chicks are and you're not going to believe how big they've got let me show you they've gone inside look how big they are oh so that is i think that's phil and then Pingu. It's quite hard to see them in here. I wonder if they're going to come out through the other way. Go through so I can see you better. Oh, I can see their bottoms. Can you see that bottom? Oh, there's Pingu. Hello, Pingu. And another one. <laughs> Look at how big our chicks are. They look a little bit like velociraptors now. Hello. Come on, come out so we can see you. Come out. Come on. There you go. Look how big they've grown. I'll have to make a whole video about the chicks. But I thought I'd show you the chicks, Ivy, just so they could all come out and say happy birthday to you. <laughs> and a big thank you for sending us that amazing video and teaching us about some new under the water animals let's just shut this up so they don't escape there you go and they are currently living in Cluckingham Palace so there you go Ivy happy birthday from a whole ton of chickens from the chicks from me and all of the other teachers at St Matthews. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments for me or for Ivy, please leave them down below and we will see you really soon. Bye.